Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up or laughed them off. Sometimes both, but we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Here. Let's go. Graphically speaking, this looks way better than Assassin's Creed 2. I mean, it is remastered. I got this for free having the season pass, I believe, for Odyssey. Yet it's still dark as hell.
In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Seconds of walking, cutscene. Five seconds of walking, cutscene. Five seconds of walking, cutscene. Like, make up your mind. You must find the key. Son? Sir? Here we go again. Desmond? Do you hear us? What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's... talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh... visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Okay, Desmond, let's practice climbing on these objects. Free 
run your way through this little obstacle course. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond, follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Synchronization levels look good now. We should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Sir. Sir. Everything all right, sir? Yes. Fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? Front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. Good evening, sir. This way, please. Oh, my apologies. He's doing the uh, movie theater scooch. I guess opera house scooch. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. 
Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. I already have. A thousand pardons. Oh, my apologies. see uh, a lot of failures with lock picking Man the line. Plug and play. Stand by. I've got a bit of stage fright a little dodge courage up the bloom in your cheek Haytham, you should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes, but then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. Any weapons? 
I beg your pardon, madam. Did you notice anyone suspicious? No, 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 no. We must have order. Are you certain? Try to remember. Order. We must have order. That's an opera. Be careful. I can't get out here fast enough. It happened we right must leave at once. What are those There's men doing? I'm scared no where danger. it's safe. Order! We must have order! Move! Move! Hey. Imbecile! Where are you going? Just I need to get out. People. Too close in here. I must get I'm some searching air. on here. You search there. down there. Very Where well. You if you find anyone, just give a shout. Searching without a warrant. Were warrants even invented at this time? Hmm. The outside looking very freaky. Alright. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain, whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair are your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We've booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. I will not be doing 100% synchronization. Fresh air might do me good. <coughs> Maybe. We can play some dice.
and then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Though you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. Listen to this, Hector. Thinks he can swagger on up here and declare himself king of the castle. Please, fans, call this off. If the captain sees to us... hell with the captain. <laughs> and to hell with you, Mills. Who signed you on, anyway? We're ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. Why is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. Do you yield? Never! <clears throat> How do you like these odds? at once, Mr. Kenway. These fought. We were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Excellent. Good day. Mr. Kenway. Captain. Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. And I'd best get to work. He's got our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right that you should feast on lamb and wine. We're stuck with tinned fish and biscuits. You looking for another fight? That it? Go away. Goddamn, they, they're holding that grudge for way too long. Come here. 
it's almost been a month. I mean, I was still mad that I beat your ass. You there! I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Is he wearing a coronavirus mask? A uh, doctor, if you have a moment. Have you taken ill? Oh, nothing like that. I was wondering if you'd heard any rumblings of trouble aboard. What sort of trouble? Unusual complaints or grievances. Men taking issue with the captain you or the passengers. You sound just like James. Like I told him, I've been much too busy with my research to notice anything not work-related. And where might I find James? The galley's your best bet. Now, if you'll excuse me... I shall excuse you. Are you James? Hi. Atham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not <coughs> here. Follow me. So oh, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Take care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? He's a shifty fella. Won't hardly take his hat off. Keeps his face in too. So He's cut our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right that he should taste on land and wine. We're stuck tinned fish. Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it... Ship sighted aft! She's making ready to fire! Beat to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! 
Everybody down! A warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead! Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks! Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin, or do I need to have you escorted? Secure the hatch! Hey, Tim. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. It doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the Opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Ah. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? Stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? You'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. Then I will. All right, all right.
take the foremast. James, to the main I mast with you. Am. Thank you. That's the battle. Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. Yeah, hate them. Don't you know, seagulls? Means you're near land. <laughs> I guess not a lot of people know that. Master Kenway! Master Kenway! Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle it. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well... At least until he arrives, I thought. Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say. 
But I think you overestimate Bloody me. Hell. Impossible, sir. This way. Thief! Someone stop him! Boston's quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover? Hold a moment. I need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. Find a general store. This accursed city will be the death of me. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Hatham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but... You seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I've... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But, should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. Well, that was interesting. Uh, find the general store. Good day, sir. Yeah, come in. Raid. Buy firearms. Flintlock pistol. <coughs> and what was it that I needed to get? A normal sword. I just barely have enough. That, my main weapons, left stick controls, horse whistling, flint lock pistol, my range weapons, okay. No, 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 no. Uh, hidden blade, go back. For the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not cry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Aye. William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well. 
But he saw the Order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause. And you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. You lying, cheating, no good son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Do you require anything further? Only privacy. Privacy. This way. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got a lot of weapons and costumes unlocked because of... Sir, William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad, if a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. Follow Charles Lee. Got a ton of emails. Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. We don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Will I see it? I'll kill the lookout. Take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half will fall before they've even realized what's happened. Get into position. But wait for me to take the first shot. Uh, kill mercenaries ten times. Go on now, or you make a Looting is faster. Pick up a mark. 
Go on now, before you make us mad. You two, clear up. You two, clear up. Back! Fall back! We'll be safe inside! What now? We can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot them. Missed. <laughs> on with the show then. Guess they wasn't so safe inside after all. Save your looting for after we found Johnson's research. Yes, Master. Even though I'm doing it. Lay down your weapons, and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. Your kind has no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. <laughs> Who should I say you are? You don't. They'll know. Hey, Fum. This one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being part back to the Green Dragon, then. I need a drink. We've company. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. We'll take care of this rabble. Them bodies is sure to have loot on them. Would be a shame to let it all go to waste. Are you mad? 
In case you've forgotten, we're in the midst of something. Ah, why is you always got to go and spoil the sport? <gasps> Doggy. <laughs> I hope whatever's in this chest is worth it. Come on now. It's just a few fools with knives. They ain't so tough. It's not the scoundrels I'm concerned with. the last of them. Mr. Johnson's gonna need to double my pay after all this if he expects me to keep at his side. There you are. My thanks, Master Kinway. No. 
Tell me what it is you need. The images on this amulet, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Kanyan Gahaga in origin. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. Thomas! What? Rent yourself a room. And a bath as well. I suspect we'll be here for a while. Good evening, gentlemen. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow on you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink. How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <clears throat> I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. Whoa. Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Churchwell, he's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. Wonderful. Charles? Sir? Seems like we're not the only ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Show you how. Step into Miss Gatehead's parlor. Church Street, past the common. Should we write his family, do you think? Not our business to meddle. Even if we've the best of intentions. But if you could have seen it. They were surely drunk, carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. All the news you need, today's Boston Weekly Advertiser. What scandalous behavior from one who aims to be a surgeon. Not 
likely if he keeps up such carousing. Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast. No doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground. Find the church and sink the For the finest, daintiest sleeve ruffle this side of Paris. Saddlers of the first water, Putney's on Mill Road. A name and reputation you can ride with. <laughs> to get used to the combat i think they changed well they did change a few things doesn't automatically counter Take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin. Plead ignorance. Look at that! They're lying! Aye. Well, what can I do? Threats light off them, and I'll not deign to grovel. Actions speak louder than words, my friend. Arrest one and put him in stocks. See if he's so glib then. To do so without cause will set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. And forget it! The crime is done! The killer's gone! Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it.
one way or another, the debt would be settled. I don't envy the man. He's green times ahead. Well, what do you think they're planning? All I know is Tom Brook. Probably looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. From what I hear tell, his work you can get all. Quite a bit of freedom. Remind me, we'd best not buy any meat. <laughs> Good call, that. it was all under control. How odd. Did they say what had happened? No. Only that it was a trifling matter, and he'd be returned home soon. There was some blood, though, so I wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on. Where were they taking him? Towards the hilltop. Perhaps there's a doctor at the fort. See, Charles? We'll have church in no time, just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you are raised in the manner that I was. Perception is fundamental to the order. It guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses, and we begin to know the world in a different way. Lieutenant Colonel George Washington has led troops to the Lieutenant Colonel George Washington. Careful. The place is well guarded. You need to slip past them. I'll have to find the key. Wait here.
Here we are then. Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very gauche. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe I take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe I take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Or maybe I take his cock. Put an end to his fucking us. <coughs> so many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. Oh, no! God. Hold a moment! Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas! I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. <sighs> I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <clears throat> you get lucky and pass out. Though I dare say I'll do me best to ensure that doesn't happen. A little bit from here, a little bit from there. Make myself a nice keepsake, I will. You're a man. Just like all good artists. Just a quick little swipe and no more ears. <gasps> Who? Who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I... I don't understand. Why are you uh, here? Walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the King's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him. State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How did you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Brad. When I'm not attending to you, of course.
it can, you fool! Your acts are treacherous. Give me one good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your arrival? if you'll allow me to explain. Ho <laughs> ho! By all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Haytham. General Braddock. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. They got some history. Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? Well, they'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. And as luck would have it, so are they. Come along. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. Stein Marlborough. No. Its residents are too content. Their homes are nice. Their days untroubled. What of Lynn or Ship Street? Yes. Those fresh arrived are often soon in dire straits. They're more likely to seize upon an opportunity to fatten their purses and feed their young. Scoundrels, one and all! Fire on you and your false war! <laughs> After him! Unhand him, Edward. Uh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitcairn with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains.
I stay my hand today because you were once my brother, and a better man than this. Or should our paths ever cross again, all debts will be forgotten. You're free now, John. Traitor! Go on, then. <laughs> Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying... I assume broken, you've good reason for causing all this madness. Some what is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. I thought that was a general. Why is a general on a patrol? That's just sounds weird. Gentlemen, I believe I found the solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. How do you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. Allow me to explain. We enter Silas' fort under the pretext of kinship. Once inside, we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. I like it. Then. Let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. For the sturdiest and most seamless... Convoy should be here soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, we can catch them all unawares. Williams serve as vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. Not until we're inside the gate. I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? You must be rather important to him if you were given your own escort. Sir, we've enemies ahead. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of it. As you wish. 
I wish you'd trust us. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be wary. So be it. Why do they have the assassin's degree on their heads? Engage the enemy! Goddamn dogs! Let no man reach us! Looks like you're to meet the Reaper! Kill a dog! Oh my. Aha! Bringing fresh meat, eh? Come here. I want to take a look. Your On your son. guard, men. Of course. Only say the word and I'll cut them down. One moment there. Are you new? Who's your officer? Engage the enemy! Right, you're to meet the Reaper! All clear! Whoever just killed that dog here, we're going for a lot of punishment. And my horse carriage. Good evening, gentlemen. State your business. Delivery for Silas. Go on. See? I'm freeing you just as I said I would. Now, if you'll allow me to explain. Let her go. But she'll give us away. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What of Silas? He dies. I know when you're ready to strike. Greetings. How fares the watch? Who are you? Thomas Smith, newly recruited. Arrived from London just last week, in fact. And you're to patrol with us? So said Silas. Hmm. I assume it's all rather straightforward. Watch for disturbances, ensure order is maintained. Hmm. Merchandise? If you don't know, you don't need to. Just do as you've been told and stay out of our way. Of course. I assume it's quiet here most days? Uh, on occasion, we catch a smuggler trying to carry contraband into the city. A small fine and stern warning usually sets him right. Hmm. A nice change of pace from the campaign. Why do you think so many of us want to be an end to that? I don't know. Sometimes I wonder if it's not we who provoke it or the sort of 
exactly what they want in space. Such a shame. The colonies are meant to be an opportunity, not another war front. I must say, the weather in Boston is much fairer than back home. Wait until we see if you feel too okay. Or summer, for that matter. The heat and wet, uh, it suffocates a man. And his uniforms. <laughs> Clearly don't want to climb. Too thin when it's cold. Too heavy when it's hot. over. Well, Oi, fellas. Apologies for me tardiness and... Cutter had me working late. You know Cutter? <laughs> well, who do you think got me this post? We're like brothers, me and him. Now, what's it Silas want us doing? We're here to rough up the prisoners, relieve them of their finery. I hear some of them carry real silver. Wouldn't mind helping myself to a bit of it before we send them on their way. No, keep clear of the merchandise. Don't speak of it either. We watch the gates and patrol the grounds. Understood, boss. I am yours to command.
An hour of quiet was all I asked. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect an explanation, and it had best be good! How? How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free! It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess! Seal the fort, kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us or one of them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse. Am I understood? Push them back. Go on, hit them. We'll hold back the guys. This is the best task we have to offer. No wonder the French still pose a threat. I'll deal with this, sir! For the order! For the order! With fighting skills like these, it's little wonder if you expect a car to force. Well, not much. For the order! Here. Benjamin! Stop the interloper! Glad to have He's you with the us. one responsible! I could use some Kill help! Him. I'll fill you like a car. Kill the intruders! All of them! The order stands united. Intruders! All of them! Who are you? Name's Haytham Kenway. You don't know me, but I believe the two of you are well acquainted. I made a promise to you, Cyrus. One I intend to keep. Beaming right on my head. What happens now? We wait. But not for very long, I suspect.
It's been several weeks now since we freed the Mohawk prisoners from captivity. I had hoped their leader might make contact, but there's been only silence. My men grow restless. They want to know what comes next, and I do not have an answer. Lee alone remains active, pursuing leads, however slight. He stalks the city streets and scouts the bordering woods, hopeful that he might make contact with one of those we saved. There was a woman there that night. It was she who helped the others to safety. If we can find her, I believe I'll have my answers. So, I watch and wait, hopeful that my true mission might finally begin. Charles, any luck finding our mystery woman? Word is she's been stirring up trouble just outside the city in a town called Lexington. Well, then that's where we'll begin our search. I'll meet you there.
Have you found her? Uh, she's made camp not too far from here. Excellent. Well, the sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this cold. I am afraid I have some bad news, sir. Oh? Braddock is insisting I return to service under him. I've tried to beg off to no avail. No doubt he's still angry about losing Pitcairn. To say nothing of the shaming we gave him. Do as he asks. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not your fault. We're too late. Fire's only just been snuffed. Snow recently disturbed. She's close. And our horses just ran off. Bollocks. The tracks are fresh. It must be hers. Mm. Seems she took to higher ground. Out of the snow and into the trees. Wait here. you return to Braddock, Charles, before he grows suspicious. I can handle things... But, sir! But nothing! Go! Stop running! I only wish to talk! I am not your enemy! Please just hear me out! God's woman! Only let me speak! Enough with these games! It is imperative that we sp You try my patience, woman! Me? 
pay them. I come in peace. Why are you speaking so slow? <sighs> Sorry. What do you want? Well, your name, for one. I'm Gadzid Zio. Well, pleased to meet you. God, God's day. Just call me Zio. Dio. Zio. Zio. Now tell me why it is you're here. Where did you get this? From an old friend. I've only seen such markings in one other place. Where? Well, it is forbidden for me to speak of it. I saved your people. Does this mean nothing to you? Look, I am not the enemy. Close to here, there is a hill. Meet me there, and we'll see if you speak the truth. Ooh. <coughs> First date didn't go out too well. Second date, maybe. That town hosts soldiers who seek to drive my people from these lands. They're led by a man known as the Bulldog. Edward Braddock. You know him? He is no friend of mine. Every day, more of my people are lost to men like him. Then I suggest we put a stop to it. Together. What do you propose? That we kill Edward Braddock. But first, we have to find him. I don't trust you. I know. Yet you remain. That I might prove you wrong. It will not happen. Uh, wait here. A Mohawkman is likely to raise suspicions, if not muskets. This is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. I can handle myself. I hope so. information but they're all like oh, well. you can't stand being quartered there the endless crashing of the waves the sting of the salt in the eyes and the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere you're sure that's where we're going aye the bulldogs putting together another expedition that's what they're calling them now expeditions aye Smart too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. Why are you walking so slow? I hear tell the French are readying to move on our positions. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before week's end. Leave the tavern easy. Oi! Where are you going, Cully? Me? No, the other cock robin. Well, I, uh... I was leaving. Oh? And now? Well, now... 
I'm going to feed you your teeth. Oh. And you were worried I was going to be the problem? Psst. Chairs. This could be a full TLC match. Oh, dang. no, that was like a soup. That was a suplex. You're hurt. <sighs> oh, that's nothing. Stop the bleeding. Versus heavyweight championship belt. That wasn't necessary. But thank you. We should move on. Meet me at Braddock's camp when you're ready. Searching for shouldn't be called the bulldog. I should be called the bulldog, the British bulldog. Press it, please. Shall we Skyrim it or just follow the main path? What's up, waifu?
Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Having second thoughts? Hardly. But I'll have to approach this carefully. Go on then. I'll keep watch from here. Hmm. I can hide in that cart. Seven dozen eggs, sixteen wheels of cheese, none of it French, don't worry. French. Five bottles of whiskey, a couple dozen new uniforms, boots, and leather for patching, blankets to cart feed for the horses. What else? That's it. That's all there is. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. no truce. Damn it! Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they'd now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't fit well with me either. Far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts the men at risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent should you wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I try, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it. So, so whistling was invented in the 1750s. All right, get back to your stations.
God damn it. That worked. What news? Braddock has left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush them here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike. He's got those eyes. I kind of miss the distance calc- like the calculator as well as... Calling my horse! Even though I never used it in Assassin's Creed 2. In the cold, cold ground! Here, here! Hard at work, I see. How did you? <laughs> it is time. We've set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen, let us away. He's got a tail to catch. First it was too cold, now it's too goddamn hot. And humid too, it's a right swamp, I tell you. 
Eh, to say nothing of the mosquitoes. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean the bulldog? Huh, <laughs> please. We'll be in that one's beef soon enough and on to the next. Where's your boy Lee gone off to? Returned to finish out his service under Braddock. I imagine the Bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Pleased to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Precisely. Unless you've underestimated our enemy. If I have, Charles will sense it first and make his escape. He is more clever than you think. I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes, united in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. What would you have me do? Will you help the others to prepare? Follow. They come. Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means we need more land. The French understand this and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances, awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we ride to offer them one last chance. The French will leave, or they will die. Now is the time to strike. Wait. To scatter the expedition is not enough. We must ensure that Braddock falls, or he's sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. We await your signal. There, in front of us. How could anyone call this forest home? It's all mud you, and bugs and monsters. The French pushed back, there'll be a lot of opportunities for us up north. Hey, Charles, what are you doing? Yes, 
Sir, you are grateful to have. Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Look out! Sir! Where are you off to, Edward? I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then! Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Is the end of you. Don't. Hurry before he gets away! I said go! Is that Mr. Washington? Oh. He got it. I don't deserve this! You're a hypocrite, Hatham! I'm sorry, Edward. But you forced... <laughs> Why, Hatham? Your death opens a door. It's nothing personal. Well, maybe it is a little personal. Been a pain in my ass, after all. But we are brothers in arms. Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered, and for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place than it is today. In this instance, I concur. Farewell, Edward. Done. Now I have upheld my part of the bargain. I expect that you will honor yours. Follow me. Are we getting it, boys? Oh. No. No! You seem disappointed. I thought that I held a key that would open something here. This room is all there is. I expected more.
What do they mean? It tells the story of Yotzitzizu, who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. She had a hard journey, fraught with great loss and peril. But she believed in her children and what they might achieve. And though she is long gone from the physical world, her eyes still watch over us. Her ears still hear our words. Her hands still guide us. And her love still gives us strength. You have shown me great kindness, dear. Thank you. I... I should go. Bow chicka bow wow. Master Kenway, did you find it then? It was not the right place. The others are waiting for you. Gentlemen, please sit. I fear our temple was no more than a painted cave. Although it did contain precursor images and script, which means we are close. Not close enough, it seems. We need to redouble our efforts and expand our order and establish a permanent base here. Although the site eludes us, I am confident we will find it. Truth. Hear, hear. Furthermore, I believe it is time we welcome Charles into our fold. He has proven himself a loyal disciple and served unerringly since the day he came to us. He should be able to share in our knowledge and reap all the benefits that such a gift implies. Are any opposed? Very well. Charles, come, stand. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do and never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work. I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost. I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Together, we will usher in the dawn of a new world, one defined by purpose and order. Give me your hand. You? are a Templar. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father, Father of Understanding, of understanding, guide, understanding guide, us. guide us. Wait, what? You all saw that, right? Wow. Well, indeed. The key must be the amulet Haytham took from London. We might know what it looks like, but we're no closer to finding it. Desmond, you need to keep going. Hey, he's your ancestor, too. Why don't you hop in the Animus? Really? That's your response? It's like dealing with a six-year-old. What is wrong with you, Desmond? You want to know what's wrong? I'm sick of being treated like I'm not even here. 
Desmond, do this. Desmond, do that. Desmond, you better figure things out because the sun is gonna turn us all to ash. And I know I was really nice to you, but actually I'm just another Templar plot twist. And yes, I would like very much for you to be controlled by a magic space wizard so that you can murder me. So there's your answer. I'm sick of being a goddamn pawn. I thought it might be different with you. I mean, you're my father, but it turns out you're no better than the fucking Templars. <clears throat> Don't you ever equate me to those bastards again. You hear me? Everything I do, everything I have done, has been for you. Maybe I pushed a little too hard, asked a little too much, but try and remember exactly what's at stake here. You need to get it together, kid. We're running out of right. time. Right, that was unusual. Well, I'm just gonna pretend that this never happened and get back to bringing everyone up to speed on where we stand. The news isn't good. It appears this temple is powered by a collection of, um, well, I guess they're batteries. You found one on your way in, but there aren't any more, at least not down here. Any idea on where we can find replacements? Not yet, so I intend to tiptoe into the Abstergo database. Now, if I can cross-reference these particular devices with their database, then maybe we'll get lucky. See what you can do. Obviously. Anyway, Desmond, you can either take a look around here or we can head back to the Animus.